sharp knives and tequila. What could go wrong? So today we're gonna to switch things up a little bit. I figured it's the start of summer, everyone's out grilling, poolside, out in the sun. So I'm gonna show you how I make my venison tacos and smoked margaritas all done on the Traeger. The uh, margaritas, to be honest with you, we just use store-bought margarita mix, but it is an organic one and it's really good because it's literally just, it's water, uh, organic guave syrup and lime juice. So minimal ingredients, doesn't have that really sugary or too sweet of a mix that comes, sometimes that sour mix can give you. How we get started here is the Traeger's been preheated. It's preheated to 275. That's what I try to cook a lot of my food at. A lot of cuts of meat uh, come out really well at 275. So we're gonna take these limes, we're gonna to toss them in some sugar, coat both sides of them. And what that does is when you throw it on the heat, it caramelizes, the sugar does, and it creates this really sweet caramelized flavor of the limes. So once you coat both sides of those really well, it almost looks like a candied lime. See that? We're gonna take that out along with a jalapeno and we're gonna throw them on the grill for probably 10, 15 minutes. And so the jalapeno starts to blister, limes start to get that caramel brown look, take those off, finish off the margarita. All right, let's head on out back to the grill. You know, you don't even need to use a Traeger grill for this. I mean, you could use any type of grill you want. All you need is heat to do any of this. We got the Traeger back here. We got Donnie the deer, say hi, Donnie. And we're gonna throw these bad boys on here. And I got this uh, cast iron skillet out here, which we're gonna use for the venison a little bit later. It takes like five, 10 minutes maybe for those limes and jalapenos to start to char up a little bit. So we're gonna get started on the margarita. Personally, like any reposado uh, type of margarita, something a little darker, more aged. I just think that it's more richer and at the same time, super smooth. Um, and a glass of ice. Tequila, whatever you prefer. Fill up the shot glass once, maybe twice, depending on the day. It's been a rough day, so we're just gonna do a little halfer. And then you take the margarita mix, and you're pretty much set with it. I mean, you're gonna get the limes and jalapeno, we're gonna squeeze that in there, and it's just gonna add just a little bit different of a flavor, right? A little bit of smokiness, just really good. And if it's not super labor intensive, we have this ready. We're just gonna give those limes and jalapenos uh, a few more minutes. And in the meantime, we'll kind of get started on the tacos. So. The venison tacos, they're just really simple, really easy to do, uh, they're delicious. So how I like my venison tacos are it's really bright and fresh with flavors. So essentially what we're gonna do is I've already prepped some of this to just kind of speed through the process, but I take red onions and I scoop these into a, a bowl. I pour the red wine vinegar all over the red onions and it just pickles them. So if you like pickled vegetables, um, or even if, you, if you've never had them, I highly recommend you try this. It gives it kind of that acidic bite of vinegar, softens them up a little bit, but I really recommend having the red onions on the taco because it adds that crunchy texture to it at the same time. So the next topping that we need to make is a Greek yogurt and chipotle's and adobo sauce mix. Why we choose Greek yogurt? We try to use this as a, a sour cream alternate at all times, but we do use the 5%, so it's, it's fatty, but it's a good fat. I love to cake it on, uh, so uh, we're gonna use a lot of that. Then we take some of this chipotle and adobos, and all chipotles are is uh, dried out and smoked jalapenos. And then the adobo sauce is just a, a smoky red sauce that it sits in. Uh, so mixed with the sour cream or Greek yogurt, uh, it creates a really good smoky flavor that has, it's a little bit spicy, it's not over the top. Um, if you have kids, they may or may not like it depending on their age. Um, it, it hasn't bothered mine, um, but it's just, it, it's really yummy. So we put a couple scoops of this in, the more you put in, the hotter it's gonna be. 
And then I squeeze a little bit of fresh squeezed lime juice in there. And this is really gonna be the only sauce that you need. I mean, uh, this is just a really good um, sour cream alternative that has that, that smoky depth to it. So we got that. We got some diced jalapenos. We got some limes that we're gonna garnish the tacos with, along with some fresh parsley from the garden and some avocados. So it's gonna be a lot to fit on the taco shell, but it's a bomb, bomb bite of, of taco. So, you know, I don't think I've ever cooked the limes at 275. I do all the meat at 275, but I don't cook limes and jalapenos at 275. I said five to 10 minutes. It's gonna take, I don't know. We're coming up on 25 minutes here and it's not even browned yet. Right. Oh, nobody will know that. <clears throat> I wonder what the other guys are doing right now. Josh is probably figuring out a way to crash his drone again. Adam's probably trying to convince Emily that he needs to buy something that really isn't even that expensive, but he thinks it's expensive. Adam thinks that the dollar menu at McDonald's is expensive. Don's probably refleshing his arrows for the hundredth time. Kids have so many problems with arrows. I haven't seen anything like it. And David, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what David's doing. David's probably convincing himself he's going to kill 12 bucks this year. 12 bucks. He's only going to hunt four states, but he's going to kill 12 bucks somehow. I love that kid. Well, I think the limes are done. Limes and jalapenos, they took a little bit longer than I thought, but no worries. Here we go. So you can see we got some grill marks right there and that is large in part due to the sugar that we put on the lime. So we're gonna toss these on a plate and we're gonna take these in and we're gonna put them in our drink. And then we get to the best part. Huh, depending on whether you like to eat or drink more, but I like to do both. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this lime, we're gonna take this jalapeno pepper, throw those in there, grab a spoon. Oh, you can smell the heat. You know you smell like how hot the pepper's gonna be? That's gonna be a hot pepper. Cheers. Now we're gonna get to the venison. So we have our venison, it's been sitting out. You always wanna make sure that your meat gets to room temp. That way it cooks more evenly. You're gonna get a bowl here. This is a pound of venison. This is typically how we package our ground venison. Uh, we do one pound bags. But typically a pound does pretty well for our family, especially when you have uh, so many toppings going on the tacos. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix in some seasoning. If you have store-bought seasoning, you like a taco seasoning, that's really great. If you like to make your own, you want it simple, cumin. If you smelled and tasted cumin and you tasted a packet of taco seasoning, it tastes almost identical. So if you want a simple uh, mixture, throw some cumin, sea salt, and some black pepper, and you're done, call it a day. But I have to spice things up a little bit. This is a new rub that I've been trying from Matt Pittman at Meat Church Barbecue. It's called Holy Voodoo. It's awesome especially when you're doing some like southern flavors this one has jalapeno and brown sugar in it so it's not too spicy it has that jalapeno flavor and the sweetness of, of the brown sugar and it just does really well on venison really well with the taco flavor this is the one pound bags it lasts us a pretty long time you know liberal application of it ball that up and we're gonna take this outside and we got the cast iron skillet tossing the meat. Once that's good to go, probably gonna take 25 minutes at 275. I toss in a beer, braise it in the beer halfway through. At 275, it's kind of a long cook for ground meat. So I just wanna make sure it doesn't do that. So any type of lager you like. The skillet's still pretty hot. Crack open a lager, toss that in there. You just do half a can. Drink the rest of it. It's just gonna simmer for the next 10 minutes. I like to pull the venison off when it's still medium rare. There still could be a little bit of pink because again, you never want to risk drying it out. Flour tortilla shells is what we use. Not a fan of corn tortilla shells. They fall apart. Even when you double up, they fall apart. Just toss these on the grill for the last couple minutes that the meat's cooking. Uh, you can tell the meat, that's done. We throw these on. They get a little bit of char on the outside, a little bit of crunch. Again, 
I'm all about texture with food. Uh, it does wonders, especially for tacos. So we throw those on top rack. Those are gonna finish up. We're gonna take the skillet of uh, venison off, bring that inside. When those are done, bring those in, we'll load up our tacos. I'm just gonna kind of finish grounding this up. Again, we got the shells on. Those are finishing it up right now. All right, so we got everything uh, pretty much set here. One thing that you want to be cautious about when you're grilling the uh, tortilla shells is kind of wash them closely. If they go too far, they'll really crisp up. And when you go to fold them, they'll just break on you. So you just kind of want them a little bit toasted on the outside and still soft on the inside. So that way they're still pliable to make the tacos. But anyway, so what we're going to do here is we're going to just make a little platter of them. Just fold it like that. Got some of the ground venison, pickled red onion. Then we're gonna take the avocado. Avocado, just really good fat. Take the Greek yogurt with chipotle and lime sauce. Kind of put a, a dab of that on there or a dollop of that on there. Oh, you can smell the smokiness of that, those chipotles. Then I like to take some fresh uh, parsley. Uh, my wife is allergic to cilantro, so we substitute in parsley, which same effect, gives that freshness, brightness, real good herby, herby flavor. I like to finish it with uh, some feta cheese. You can use, I mean, any type of cheese that you like. We prefer feta because as some say, feta makes everything better. So you kind of chop that up, put some chunks of that on the tacos, you take some fresh lime, throw those on here, squeeze it on, to top it off. Again, that's that, that fresh and brightness that you'll get from that acidity. And that's really it. I mean, that looks pretty darn good to me. I guarantee you it's good. Let's go in for a bite. Mm. You can hot. The jalapeno's hot. You can hear the crunch of the tortilla shell. Then you hit the ground venison, the uh, crunchiness of the red onion, and you got the heat from the jalapenos and the chipotle and Greek yogurt sauce. But it really brightens up with that lime, that lime juice and parsley. And it's just a really bomb taco. I mean, it's, it's really good. Again, it's really simple to do. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to DM us at our at Hunt Moxie account or leave a comment uh, in the comment section below. Be happy to help you out. This is one of many recipes that we'll be doing. We had fun today. I had fun. Everything was, everything tastes really good. Turned out really well. Margaritas kick ass. Um, all in all, it's been a really great day. Loved cooking with you guys. Loved opening up my kitchen for you. Hope to do many more of these in the future. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for caring. And I hope this was beneficial. So we'll catch you on the next episode.